Okay, let's talk about something that they say you should never talk about at the dinner table. It's politics. And I feel like I should be clear. Let's talk about the strategy that is being used on some of these political campaigns, because it's really interesting. If you look at the political landscape and what they're doing as far as advertising, it's a good lesson in brand building and awareness. So that's the lens that I'm going to be looking at. I'm not going to get in the knee deep of like what my politics are or what I agree, but this is fascinating. Flipping this over to my cell phone to make this a little bit easier. But uh, here's kind of what what I want to talk about. I was served the following ad on YouTube. Boom. These ladies. And let's listen to a little bit about what they have to say. Hey, y'all. Hey. We're Diamond and Silk. Listen, listen, President Trump's birthday is right around the corner. Yes. And this year, we want to make it really special. That's right. We want to give him a huge car. Huge. What? Okay, so th that's the action. They want to give them a huge card, and in this card will be your signature. Um, so let's click through to the page, and I'll show you what I found. So I took screenshots of this campaign and put the landing page on my phone so I could walk you through it. When I started going through this whole thing, it looks like it's from the actual campaign, when in fact it is not. Look closely and you'll see that it's from the Trump Make America Great Again Committee. You can find out by the... Um, the disclaimer down at the very bottom, as well as their logo. They just kind of ripped off the official campaign elements and then put their own their own slogan in there. Um, so let's talk about what they're actually doing here. There's no birthday card. I really doubt there's a birthday card because this is from a super PAC and a super PAC is not supposed to have contact with the candidate themselves. So how are they gonna send off a birthday card? Now, the other thing is, well, what is this thing actually for? Scroll all the way down and you'll find out. By signing this birthday card and giving them these pieces of information that they're asking for, guess what? You're signing up for more communication, which means you are being put on an advertising list. And that list can be used for all sorts of things. Remember, anybody can theoretically make a super PAC, so who knows if they're gonna send you a whole bunch of anti-Trump ads once you're on this list to try and dissuade you from voting for them. Chances are, and my gut instinct, is that they are actually going to send you pro-Trump ads, but they're going to send you the ads that the campaign themselves doesn't want to be responsible for. That way, if it gets too controversial, they can go, that was them, not us. And I know they're not supposed to talk to the actual candidate campaign, but come on. And so this is some of the trickery that goes on with a political campaign. And I don't like it. I don't want to be responsible for it. It's, it's not what, the way I like to advertise. I believe that things should be open and transparent and honest and ethical, and tricking people into joining a list is none of those things. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better, because there's going to be more loops like this out there. So what I implore you to do is be very careful about the things you sign up for and the things that you believe, because you don't know who's putting those out there or why unless you dig into it. And if you do your research and you find out that what you are being told is true and the people are above board, then by all means, trust it. But trust is something that we have to protect. Now, I don't wanna make this seem like I'm pointing fingers at the Trump campaign because I think you're gonna find this in a lot of campaigns throughout this year, both on the national and the local level. So the idea of being careful and really understanding where the information is coming from before you believe it holds true. And if somebody is trying tactics like this site, well, they're probably not worth listening to.